That was a massive fish. Just crashed over that sounded huge. That sounded like a submarine. Solid bag rod is away. Oh, nervous. My heart is racing. Absolutely racing. Yes, you absolute legends. Welcome back to another episode where you join me on the Birch Syndicate for a quick 24. Huh? Yeah, all right, I know it doesn't make sense, but it's 2023 when nothing makes sense, all right? The Birch is fantastic 12 acres of Welsh water look hidden in Newport, right up next to the Seven Estuary Wall. Along with the farm animal noises next door, you can actually sometimes hear the waves crashing almost as if you were on the beach. With a great stock in the 30s and some Welsh 40s to have a go at, this syndicate is truly a great opportunity to bag some chunky Welsh girls. Anyway, I rocked up early Saturday morning and already that excitement sank in. That was a massive fish. Just crashed over that sounded huge. That sounded like a submarine. But I've got to get a rod out, got to get a solid bag tied on and just get it out there because no one's in that swim at the moment next door, so. <laughs> Right, so I've just got one solid bag rod out, so I'm actually fishing now. Christ, I haven't even got the marker rod set up, I've got the spawn rod set up, nothing. But we're actually fishing, and uh, it, literally, I've thrown a solid bag over to that area where a huge show showed earlier. Absolute chunk that. Oh, it's exciting times, isn't it? But yeah, I'm back at the birch, guys. Um, I'm only here for a 24 hour session. It's already started off quite exciting. We've already got one rod fishing on the right hand side, obviously this is the Pickering rod. I'll put that out in a minute, I'm going to set up another solid bag rod and put one over there to that far, those far reeds I think. While no one's in that swim next door, might as well take advantage of it. Never know, could get that Welsh 40, that'd be the bloody dream wouldn't it? So I'm just setting up the second rod, which is going to be also another solid bag. I did my, both my fish last time I was here were on solid bags. This time I'm doing a pink magic bean with the OG mini mix from Parker Bates. But yeah, that was really exciting seeing that. That was a big lump that jumped. I'm not even kidding. It was a hefty Welsh, look, proper Welsh girl, that. Um, I've just put a bit of bait in the margin as well. Quick overnight is you just got to sort of make the most of it. So I cast to a show and fish. Quick overnight, what a silly phrase. Who, why do we say that as car packs? It's, it's just not a quick overnight, is it? This, this is going to be a rod ready to go. If I see any more show and fish, I can put this rod straight on top of it. But after this, I'll get the pick of a rig sorted out and the marker rod set up. God, it's exciting, I love this place. Bring on the winter fishing, eh, boys? After chucking that solid bag after that heifer, I got to marking around for an open water spot. The birch is clay-based, but there are harder spots than others. These were the ones I was looking for. After finding a spot at about 10 wraps, I went about putting a bed of bait with around 15 spoms out on the spot. But before I could get any live rigs on top of it, I was pleasantly interrupted. Solid bag rod is away. Ooh. My heart is going, absolutely going. Take line. Oh dear. That one rod that's been out on the solid bag and the magic bean has gone and it feels like a good fish on the end. Play it nice and easy. It's an open water now. Oh, nervous. Oh, go down the right hand margin. Try and bring it back. It's a plodder. It's a plodder. Taking line, taking line. That's a nice fish. Oh, that's a lovely fish.
Yes. Yes. Come on. Right. First fish down. Right, before we have a look at that fish, the important thing is I've got the solid bag rod already, already made up, ready to go. God, I can't even talk, can I? Did you hear that? Got that ready to go, so I'm going to whack that back out there, at the same spot where I got that, and uh, we'll have a look at this fish. Fuck it. Yes! Come on! Oh, well, guys. <laughs> this is something that I've been looking for, I think, for a while. I haven't weighed her yet. This is a quick way. She's a beaut. Absolute beaut. Oh, she is beautiful. That's a big fish. That might be a 30, guys. I'm hoping it's a 30. Oh, okay. Let's out. Moment of truth. Let's weigh the belt. Fins are all good. Twenty nine and a half. Twenty nine and a half. Not quite a thirty. <laughs> Twenty nine and a half. Check out this baby. Big old shoulders on her. So I said before I come out here. Was after the big Welsh girls. Look at that. <laughs> oh, 29 and a half pound of Welsh butte. <laughs> oh god, my back. <laughs> that is a gorgeous fish. Oh. <laughs> this come off, that solid bag that I cast out to the showing fish. It might well have been this fish, you don't really know, do you? Oh. Yeah. Come off the solid, solid bag. <laughs> Which, uh, <laughs> which had a magic bean, a yellow magic bean. So that's three fish now I've had on the magic beans of this syndicate. A Welsh, almost 30 pound mirror. Absolute chuck. I'll show you the other side. So, so it's just shows both to show guys as well. You wanna make the most of when you can get out because when you can, you just never know when you just catch. Like I've been here for about a couple of hours. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Absolute beaut. Absolute beaut. Look at the paddle on it. <laughs> Amazing. That is an awesome fish. Oh. Oh, yeah. Absolutely over I don't even know what to say, guys. Honestly, I don't know what to say. I haven't even set up my bed, I'm soaked. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, getting water in my getting water in my wellies. Absolute lump of a carp. Let's go girl. Let's get her back. Beautiful fish. <laughs> Yay! Right then, let's get another solid bag back out on that in that area, in that hit zone. Get that back out. I'm only going to keep one rod in there for now, just because I don't want to overpressure it, because it worked. The one line in there, so I'm going to get another solid bag rod back out. And it's the joys of having one pre-tied, ready to go. Hey. <laughs> Right, I'm just uh, <clears throat> redoing the rod that actually brought the fish in. I'm just sharpened the hook back up. It's such a small little hook, look at that. Small little size six, that was. So I'm just, once I sharpen that, I go through these yellow magic beans so much. There you go, that's the bait that did the job. So I've got to put another yellow magic bean on. Good old Parker baits. 
guys, if you want the discount and you want 10% off those uh, magic beans or any Parker Bates you buy, use the code CHUNKY. Um, also, on that note, guys, so every time you hear me say that, use the code CHUNKY, what that does, every purchase that goes through Parker Bates with that code, that means they know one of my followers has paid them. Every time that happens, it basically gets totaled up. And if I get a certain number of you guys taking that, basically using that code, I get 5kg worth of free bait. Now I know I'm really close to doing that. But I'm also very close to 2000 subs guys. So if you haven't subbed already, guys, what are you doing? Make sure you sub up to the channel. Make sure you give us a like and comment below. When we hit 2000 subscribers, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another massive load of giveaway. So one of the giveaways I wanna do for the 2K giveaway is actually use that 5kg free bait that if I, if I win, and give it back to you guys. You're getting that. And on top of that, Parker Bait's also gonna throw in another 5kg for another giveaway on that 2K subscriber mark. So that's gonna be 10kg worth of bait I'll be giving away. And I'm also thinking about doing basically, I'll a, couple of basically a couple of 48 hour sessions with myself. I might give a couple of them away as well. So let me know your thoughts if you'd be keen, because obviously you don't have to come with me. You can uh, go with a mate, go with a missus, something like that. I'll just pay for the two tickets for 48 at a venue. Haven't decided on what venue yet. Maybe let me know in the comments below what venue you'd like to try and get on. I wonder what would be the ultimate one. Obviously places like Linear, you can't really book in advance. So it's a bit of like hit and miss where you end up on Linear. Bloody liners. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I'm I'm looking to do some a lot of good giveaways for that 2K mark. So once again, guys, thank you for all the support you've been giving. It's been absolutely amazing. Right, without further ado, I've got to get this magic bean on. I've just lost it. I've got it on the baiting needle. I need to sort it out. <laughs> I'll get the solid bag on. I'm going to get the third rod out. Probably about 10 wraps just to open water to start with. Like I said, I have already pre-baited that margin. Um, I'll leave that maybe for tonight if nothing happens on the open water solid bag rod. But yeah gonna put it out open water for now I'll leave that for the day and then before sunset tonight I'll probably put one in the margin we'll see how I feel but we like options don't we when you're on a quick 24 you want to have options two rods of solid bags one on the picker in on a baited spot see how we get on weird thing I do as well I thought I might tell you guys it it might be something ridiculous and it probably it might not make any difference at all but what I like to do with my flat spot once I've injected it in the bag I just let it hang let it swing for a bit because as you can see the oil is now actually slowly making its way to the bottom of the bag and it gives us a moment for those pellets to just suck in that flat spot that's the fruity one i got in there at the moment so i just find when you let it suck in the pellets suck in the flat spot for like a couple minutes before you cast out it just i think it gives a bit more of a slow release of the oil which is um exactly what i want yeah, there you go it's all about slow releasing see the flat spot out there now just released from the solid bag I just put out. That's what I want to see. Cool, you can definitely see it now. Look at that. <laughs> That's a big old flat spot. All the rods were out and the traps were set. With Chunky in his rightful place to hopefully bring me some more of those big Welsh girls. As always, the attention was drawn to food. Again, I really actually can't stress how good this buy was. And I'll leave it in the I'll leave the link um, to it on Amazon in the description below. But this thing is just oh, it was so good on Oxleys. It handles the ridge monkey. You ever get a big ridge monkey like this thing? Looks like a battle axe. You ever get this thing right? It looks like a battle axe, and you put it on your burners, and just if you don't have a ridge monkey quad stove, it just slides everywhere. It's a bit frustrating, really. So I bought this for a couple of quid off Amazon, I think it was. And uh, obviously you put it on the floor, you put your burner underneath it and the ridge monkey just sits on top. It's a oh, game changer, proper game changer. After cooking up the bacon and sausage, I stuffed my face with that breakfast wrap and continued to watch the water. All of a sudden, something quickly jolted my attention. The actual fuck. Oh. A massive fish has just crashed. Like I see the bow wave going over there. That's why I put the bait in the margin. What? That sounded enormous. It was just down there. So it was there, and I put my bait there. Oh, I think I need to put a bit more bait out. Right. 
you can actually see the oil slicks coming off on the flat spot there. Um, with that solid bag I'm just putting margins of the fish boshed about there. And I've got my bait here. You can see that oil coming off that flat spot now releasing. And I, what I've done, I've backleaded that left rod. So the left rod is now in that margin. God, this is exciting fishing. It's so exciting, isn't it? <laughs> right. <sighs> relax again, and relax. I'm going to probably redo this solid solid bag that did the fish originally. I'm going to leave the picker in until tomorrow morning now. That's done. I'm happy with it. It's on the baited spot. This bag I might redo before the sun goes down tonight. So, um, and I'll, I think there's a pink magic bean on that, but I'm going to put another yellow one on because I've had three fish out of here now and yellow magic beans. So <laughs> if it's not broken, don't try and fix it, you know? So yeah, I'm going to wait a couple of hours, probably have another bite to eat before dark. I'll redo that rod. Let's see what happens. Hopefully that margin one will scream off. You never know, do you? Well, that weather's really started to change. Um, it was a nice bit of sun earlier, but look, if you see it now, we've had a bit of rain, a slight bit of rain. As you'll see, it's all greyed right up and the wind is starting to come in. There we go. So it's all gaining down there, but it's, I think it's quite cold wind, I think. This is why I thought I'd come up here because I'm on the back of it and they'll see it's what did the fish last, what did the fish this morning. So be interested to see what this does, if it changes anything. Be interesting. Here we go. Here comes the rain. So I'm gonna be bivy bound for a bit, it looks like. Oh well, I was always looking forward to that. So I quite like winter, um, winter fishing when you're a bit bivy bound like that. I don't know why, it's quite, quite snug, isn't it? But yeah, still nothing to report. The rod's still motionless. Come on lads, we need to scream off again. Not quite happy with the placement of my right hand rod, I wound it in to put a fresh yellow magic bean on. With the new rig tied and now all of my flat spot used up, the bag was ready to go out. That is all three rods set. It's about half two, but I'm not gonna touch them now till tomorrow morning. We're gonna lose, we're gonna lose daylight in a couple of hours now. But the right rod, as you've just seen, has gone out towards there. So it's just out of those lily pads, but hopefully it's enough attractor in there to entice a big old carp to come over and actually smash that bait down. But yeah, I'm not gonna touch them now. They're being left out. I'm gonna get some food on. Hopefully guys, we can steal one. The rain continued to hammer down that evening soaking everything including poor old chunky that didn't look the happiest i must say eventually though there was a little gap in the weather which let me observe that gorgeous late autumn scenery well there's a little gap in the, in the rain so i thought i'd come out and just show you how awesome this sky looks do i think that looks sick Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Again, if you want to get the prettiest views and stuff like that when you're doing your carp fishing, I always suggest get your ass out in winter or late autumn, as we are at the moment. The rain's coming. It's going to be a heavy downpour. It's going to be this cloud over there, I think. But then after that, it's all nice and clear. So yeah, the rods haven't done anything. Poor old Chunky, you're still holding there, aren't you, mate? <laughs> no, that's not my net's blown over. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's actually about half six. Um, and I thought I'd just touch base on this head torch from Reed's Comforts. I've just found it, I've just found it really handy lately. It's got this LED, I'm not sure you can see, you've got the LED strip here and that lights up and it's got a couple of different modes on. You've got your red light and you've got the, the big old lens here, big old lens thing here. 
and that's like your that's your beam that's your beam focus now it's not the most powerful head torture out there i know the tracker one is absolutely ridiculously stupidly powerful it's almost like a lightsaber coming off you but i find this head torch really handy for when you're in the bivy at night i've got the lantern on behind me at the moment but let me show you with the led strip what it looks like with the whole bivy and how much it lights up because it gives a really good spread of light all right ready so that's the lantern off and there you go that's the that's the two LED strips lit up. Look, look, it's pretty good, isn't it? Like if I'm barely moving my head, and it lights up pretty much everything. That's literally just the LED strips. So if you guys do want a uh, discount on your, if you do fancy having a look at these on Reed's Comfort, and you are going to buy one, make sure to use my discount code Chunky, and I'll give you ten percent off. It's all about saving money, guys. Do love saving everyone a bit of money, so. Rain hasn't stopped. Well, it has stopped, it's just sporadic. It's like on and off. So that rain I was talking about earlier, I think. Seven o'clock rain. I keep opening the door, because I want to open the door up when I sleep tonight, because I don't want condensation inside. Well, I'm just having to letterbox it. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you wake up to a nice bit of chilly, bit of chilly morning on the Birch Syndicate. I've got to leave in about a couple of hours. I'm actually going to leave this morning. So I'm leaving the rods out, obviously, for the last couple of hours while I do a slow pack down. Last night, we managed to pull one in. Check this one out, guys. Right then, guys. It's about 12 o'clock and uh, I got woken up to uh, that solid bag rod again, doing the business. Same spot I had the first fish. It's not as big as that mirror we had earlier, but we've got another beautiful big old chunk. Oh, oh actually, it does feel quite nice. It's a big old chunky fish. I'm not too sure, I haven't got my scales on me, so I don't really know how big it is. It's definitely a mid high 20, so I reckon that's about 25, 26 pound. A beautiful fish. And that come off again, solid bag. That come off the solid bag on the yellow magic bean. <laughs> Absolutely over the moon. <laughs> Perfect. Show you the other side. Oh, it's a plenty of time to rest. Look at that. Oh. There you go. Look at that fish. <laughs> awesome creature. Absolutely over the moon with that one. <laughs> Second fish on a 24 hour session. Just goes to show. <laughs> you have to make your most of when you come out. Solid bags, yellow magic bean. Doing the job again here at the Birch. And I reckon this one's got to be, it's a good old weight on him, it's got to be 25, 26 pounder, I think, this one. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome fish. And now he's behaving for me. This fish put up such a fight, it must take me about 20 minutes to pull in. I actually thought it was a stocky, it didn't feel too heavy on the end of the rod. But it was clear, look at the paddle on it. Oh, absolute unit. Right, we'll get this lovely creature back. Absolutely gorgeous creature. <laughs> Yeah, that was awesome. So that come off 
Parker Bates, Magic Bean, Solid Bag, exact same tactics, very similar area to where we had the first fish, which was in that corner, in that corner to my right. They've definitely been holding on the back of the wind, but it just goes to show that two fish in 24 hours on there is actually quite good going. It's a tough lake. I feel over the moon. I feel like I've done done well here. To, like actual some bit of proper fishing, seeing the fish, locating the fish, putting solid bags on top of them. Sometimes the methods that just seem so simple, they're the ones that pull the fish out. There yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Your support lately has been amazing. I'm hoping, you never know, by the time this video comes out, we might be actually at 2K subscribers. So if you can guys, remember, we want to hit that 2000 mark. I'll be doing a load of giveaways to get something back to you guys, because you guys have been incredible. And uh, obviously, like I said, keep me motivated to keep this channel going. It's been a hell of a journey. We're still going, there's still plenty to come. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment below, and I will see you in the next one. Drop your guts, grab your nuts, and get on the bank.